the Scottish FA is proud to announce that the Iron Blue Cup will now be known as the Tannock's Caramel Wafer Cup. Duffy, did you hear that? The Caramel Wafer Cup! Oh, imagine the trophy! Oh. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to Season 4, Episode 5 of The Impossible Dream with Violet Town. And today we are playing Aberdeen Reserves in the Tannics Caramel Wafer Cup. I really want to get my hands on that delicious, delicious cup. And then we get the group stage underway of the Euro 2 Cup at home to Maccabee Haifa. That is going to be really, really tough, but give us a good idea of where we stand in the group. We start in Dynamics today and that is because there is... a. a Asking to leave is Daniel Evans, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, the reason being, apparently I must have promised him he could have a loan deal at some point. I had been, we've been playing him in the first team. I was, I thought, and obviously foolishly, that if he was playing in our first team, that was better than a loan move. Um, when he came to me and said he was upset, you know, about not being able to go alone, I thought there'd be an option I could say, I want you to stay here and play in our first team. And obviously he would be like, oh, thanks Gaffer, that's fantastic. But there wasn't. So now he's basically just wants to leave because he's lost trust in me, which is really, really frustrating. Um, we had this before in FM19, and eventually they did come around. So I'm hoping that will be the case. The problem, of course, is that unhappy players don't always play the best. So we're going to have to find out if he's someone that sulks, um, or if he is someone that is, um, you know, that will kind of get on with it. Henry Jones is still upset about the lack of depth up front. He'll come around. We've signed good players up front. It's just frustrating because he's still on a semi-pro contract. We really want to get him on a professional contract. Uh, not this part-time garbage that he's on right now, but in his own time. Anyway, there's two games to catch you up on before we get to today's game. Starting with our league uh, fixture against Carnaforan. No, Carnaforn. Carnaforn. An early goal got the points in this one. Glennon crossing for Apgareth to score against his former club. We absolutely dominated this game. Um, but yeah, we couldn't really score. A good goal from Ap Gareth. Uh, really good to see he wasn't scoring against the team, of course, that he knocked us out of cups with last year. Um, yeah, I mean, they have a new manager this year. They're a different team. They play a completely different way. It's Glenn, uh, Glenn Whelan, uh, former Aston Villa star, of course, star player. Um, but anyway, so they're, they're not the team they were, but yeah, we absolutely smashed them off the park, which was really good. Um, and of course, Ab Gareth Goring is always a nice thing. Next up, we played Barry in the league. Barry Town, that is. We opened the scoring late in the first half with an Ab Gareth stunner. Nichols cross for Boston Brew just after the hour to double the lead. And moments later, it was Waite crossing for Neto to secure the points. So a poor first half, what a goal, what a strike from uh, Ap Gareth to get us underway though. Second half we were quite brilliant to be honest, uh, and in the end ran away with the game, dominated. Ap Gareth, man of the match, he's looking every bit um, like a player that is actually going to be useful for us and not just science that he can't play against us. So there we go, uh, but you can see from the match ratings there, player match ratings, we were quite good in this one as well, which was brilliant. If we have a look at what all that means for the league table, um, we can see we have, we've we got a lot of games in hand just because we're playing in so many bloody competitions right now. Uh, but we're as yet undefeated uh, and we're seven points back of the New Saints. Seven points back of the New Saints, yeah. But we have three games in hand, so we have 12 points to play for. So all things being equal, if we continue our winning ways, we should... Does that make sense? Anyway, we, 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 still, we, we will be top if we win all our games, basically. But uh, we also have, of course, the Euro 2 group stage uh, getting underway today. Obviously, no games played in that yet, so we don't know um, how that's going to shape up for us. But let's have a look at what we're up against here, against Aberdeen Reserves. Um, there is essentially no information on them, I'm assuming, because they're a reserve team. Their manager is Paul Sheeran. Um, yeah, I mean, he's fine. He's their under-20 reserves manager, so... Their standard balance playing style. That is literally all the information we have on them. Now, obviously, we are favouring the uh, the European competition. As much as I'd like to win that uh, delicious looking trophy, we do need to make sure that the focus is on uh, is on Europe and on the league. And if we happen to get knocked out of this one, you know, I'd like to win it because we haven't won it before, but we'll kind of deal with it as it is. So all change in the team for today. It's Radcliffe, the backup goalkeeper, on loan from Cardiff. He gets the start here. Newton, Evans, Gosney, and Nichols uh, gets the, is the back four. It's Backhill, Benny, and Gosset in midfield. It's Garrick. I think this will be a first look at him on the channel. Did he play once before on the channel? I can't remember. 
Youngster Ewan Dixon um, gets the go in number 10 and Henry Jones on the left. And it's Nebula. He goes up top. We'll see what he's like as a striker. He's done okay as a number 10. Um, but we'll try him as a striker for this one and see how he goes. This will, of course, be a good test to see how uh, uh, Dan Evans is going to react to being unhappy. Uh, they're coming out 4-4-2, which is not ideally the way I'd like to be set up against a 4-4-2, but we'll do what we can here. Uh, what does Lewin say? He says, pick up where they left off. Let's just go with, you're on a decent run of form. Keep that going here. Some calm, we have faith. Dan Evans is motivated, so that's a good sign, I think. And, yeah, let's uh, see what we can do here. It would be a little bit embarrassing to go out to a reserves team, but... Um, it's, it's hardly our first choice. Actually, you know what we should be doing is just be more disciplined because it's not a team that's played together very often before. Mick Kimmy with the free kick. Garrick is there, brings it down nicely. He's just on a one-year contract, of course, Garrick. So we'll wait and see whether we want to extend him or not. Nebula's there for Dixon. Back for backheel Benny. What's he got for us? Nice little ball there through for Henry Jones. Back to Benny. Out there for Newton getting forward. Can he square it? Nebula's in the middle if he can. Back post instead. Oh, it's horrible defending. And Sebastian Nebula gets his second goal for the club. I'm pretty sure that's his first goal on YouTube, though. So excellent stuff. If that's what we're up against here against Aberdeen Reserves, um, then it's not going to be... It's not going to be great, is it, to be honest, for them. But... There we go, 1-0 it is, and it's Nebula underway on YouTube as a Barla Town player. He looks like he's going to be a good player for us, to be honest. Um, so that's that's good to see. All right, an Aberdeen reserves highlight. I really, but I don't like having, it's the same in England, isn't it, with their version of this uh, competition. I don't like reserve teams playing, in, you know, for, of Premier League teams playing in this sort of competition. It just seems stupid. Um... Imagine if it was a reserve team that got to a final. You know, you go to... I mean, it's not well, obviously Hamden in this case. You know, it's Barla Town versus Kilmarnock Reserves. Well, like, what a stupid headline for a final that is. Anyway, I'll get off my high horse. It's a ball into the box. Nichols does well. Clears it, but not particularly well. Still with Aberdeen. We'll just call him Aberdeen. It sounds a little bit better that way. Come on, boys. Can we get a foot in here? We're closing them down nicely, but they're just kind of passing it between themselves, aren't they? There's an ambitious ball forward. Gosney wins that. Down to Dixon for Nichols. Nichols over the top. Can't quite find Nebula. Can we win the ball? No, we can't. It's becoming a bit of a long, old, scrappy highlight, isn't it? Don't like those when the other team has the ball. He's gone straight past the left back, and Radcliffe makes the save. Radcliffe, when we played him last time against... Um, what well, was the Welsh League Cup where we ended up? It was like, was it 7-4 or something? He looked absolutely hopeless in goal, and that is, speaking of absolutely hopeless, that is a flashback to some horrible corner defending of the past, isn't it? Come on, boys. Let's demand a bit more here from you, please. We looked really good. Really good opening few minutes, and we have not really done anything with it since. And it's another Aberdeen highlight. Come on, boys. Get your head back in the game here, please. Anderson. Back for guest exchanging passes. Come on, boys. Can we close them down? We can't. Can we win that? No, we can't. Who is that? Nichols is having an absolute nightmare at right back, and Radcliffe is there again to make the save. And it might be a case of telling him to concentrate here when we can. Corner in, headed away by Gosney, it looks like. Going to close them down. He's done well there. I think that's Gosney, isn't it? Yeah, well done, son. But it will be another corner to defend, of course. Uh, I think for the Maccabi Haifa game, we're going to go back to our sort of our European formation of last year. And my plan is we'll put uh, Ollie Danham in the center of uh, Joe Lewis and uh, Reese Williams. I thought about playing Gosney in that. The problem is that Denham is a natural defender on the cover. There's a decent ball for Nebula. He's been played in beautifully here. Can he finish? Nebula. Oh, he stuffed that away, hasn't he? What a finish from Nebula. Good little ball through for Backhill Benny to find him as well. And that was really, really well done, boys. Let's give him some praise for that. Gosse, look at the Backhill Benny. Acres of space. Picks out the run of Nebula. And I tell you what, he wasn't placing that finish, was he? Had some of that <laughs> in the roof of the net almost. Excellent goal, 2-0 to Barla Town, and let's hope that we can see this out second half now. They've looked like they have a goal in them though, so we don't want to don't want to sort of rest on our laurels too much here. Uh, now, is there anybody on the bench that we want to give a game to? I've thought about playing Serafino as a number ten because uh, he does have good passing and vision. Thoughts on that? If you have any particular thoughts, uh, let's say don't get complacent out there, boys. 
because he's not really working as a striker. He's not he's not sort of getting the goals, is he? Uh, and I don't think he's got the pace for a winger. But his main his main sort of attribute, I think, or the one I like, is it's sort of his me mental attributes, and he can pass the ball. So I'm wondering if there's maybe a number ten there. But then again, with James Wade, Nebula, Jones, Dixon, you know, do we need another number ten? Um. Yeah, I'm just I'm kind of thinking out loud a little bit on that one. But that's I had that brainwave when I was playing through the games last night. Here we go, back hill Benny. That's definitely back, isn't it? At least it wasn't a heel. Newton picks it up. Crosses into the box. It's, yeah, not great, to be fair. Can we win that? No, we can't. And are we going to find ourselves under a little bit of pressure here? Oggy brings it forward. Good block there by Nichols. Still with Aberdeen. We should get to that. Newton does. Does well. Opposite forward. You didn't need to do that. That is, I'll tell you what, it's agricultural. It's definitely Scottish football, isn't it? Oh, good tackle from Gosney. Good block there as well. Danny Gosset, I think that was. And again, Danny Gosset. What a man of steel he is. Nebula's going to pounce on that. And a poor uh, defensive touch. Can he get his hat trick? Denied by a decent acrobatic save by the goalkeeper. Um, unless we score from this, I think the next shot almost has to be concentrate, doesn't it? Gosset with a decent ball in. It's headed back towards the mixer, but away. Garrick is not having a great game, is he? Looking complacent as well. So let's get him off. Serafino can go out there. Dixon's not having a great game. Um, we'll kind of, I think we'll just leave him there. Evans is maybe not going to react well to not being, not being, um, not being, what was the word? Loaned out was the word I was looking for there. Sorry, I'm full of cold. So if I, my brain's a little bit foggy, a little bit slow to react. So, um, Come on. We've got two on two at the back here. Can we... Oh, we've let him go. Radcliffe. I tell you what, he's had a de decent game, hasn't he, in goal, Radcliffe? Um, yeah, as poor as he was against Connor Key, he's, uh, he's done okay here today. Backhill Benny playing a nine. Look at that. Go on, son. Newton with a throw for Benny. Newton. It's a decent cross. It's headed away. Gosset is there. It's off the crossbar. Can Serafino retrieve? He can. What's he got? He crosses into the defender, and that'll be that. Uh, it's regulation enough, isn't it? We've done okay. We haven't set the world on fire, but we've got the job done. We'll give him some praise late on. Is there any more goals in this game for us? No, there is not. But, yeah, let me know what you thought of some of the, the lesser-seen players there. I, I mean, Nebula just looks a star, doesn't he? Um, Garrick, he might just be here for a season, I think. Just doesn't quite... Maybe it'll give me some time to seal it. It just doesn't quite look like he's got what it takes, so does it? We draw... Oh, good. Kilmarnock reserves in the next round. So that's something to look forward to. Backhill Benny. Nine key passes. Absolute star in there for us today. There is a good player in there. It's just a shame that he's blotted his copybook with that disgusting act of last season. Um, and we have another game rearranged. Guys, wait right there. We'll be back for... Uh, for Maccabi Haifa, I just want to quickly draw your attention to our upcoming schedule these next two months. Look at the games. I mean, September's bad enough, but look at October. We have two weeks of, look at this, Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday. Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Never mind having two teams, we need three. Okay, welcome back. We're about to take on Maccabi Haifa in the Euro 2 group stages. But look, a bit of catch up on, uh, we have, uh, we're upgrading again our data analysis facilities. Um... It all helps add and grow the club reputation. It's only 24 grand, so that's not a problem. So that should be done relatively soon, for almost for next episode. Uh, something else that we asked for and we got was um, we were able to expand our scouting range. We can now scout players anywhere in the world. Um, so we've moved over a lot of our transfer budget into scouting and hopefully we'll be able to try and scout good players that we can then sell, buy for little and then sell on for a big profit because that is sort of, to begin with, how we're going to have to sort of get, get ourselves up where we need to be in the Champions League. But... For this game, we are not the favourites. You would expect that. They are probably a better team than us, to be honest. We don't know anything about them whatsoever. Uh, analysis report here, we can kind of see. This is how they played last time out. Possibly like to attack down the wings, but we don't know too much about them. All I know is that Trent Sainsbury is an Australian guy that's at, in their, the centre of their defence, and he is our best defender. So we'll wait and see what happens there. But this is the team we're sending out. It's back to the glory days of European football last year. If we look at uh, match fatigue players, it's just Nebula. Unfortunately, I was going to try and give him a start in this one, but 
Uh, that's not going to quite work out for us. So it's Gray that goes in goal. It's Glennon, Lewis, Denham, Williams, and Bakari back in the team. Uh, the first team as uh, the back five. Vieira and Parsons in midfield. Wait, Ormark, and Buss and Brew are the attacking trio. Let's see what we can do. I think we'll get a really good idea of where we stand roughly um, in the group in the, out of this game. I'm wondering if they have a number 10 and if we should push Reese Williams forward again. But I think we might do that, actually. Um... Just try and not give him so much space to play in. Uh, Lewin says, pick up where they left off. Uh, go out there and cause an upset here, boys. We are the underdogs. We are at home. And like I say, this will give us an idea of if we're any chance of getting out of the group as well. All right. We did make the change. We've got Reese Williams playing as a DM or sort of as a halfback. So he'll drop back in and hopefully bring the ball out for us. I just think with their number 10 in there, um, it's maybe something we need to look to do. So a decent start in terms of... We haven't given up a highlight yet. We do have a central defender on a booking, which isn't ideal. Um, we've got work to do here. It looks like defending. Bakari, not the best clearance. Can we get to that ball? Doesn't look like we can. We get back. That should be easy for Gray. It is. And can we launch a counter-attack? What is this highlight going to come? Come on, boys. Come on. Denham brings it out. Nice ball out there for Bakari. It's the Bala Town. Alve uh, what's his name? Denny Alves. Can he get a cross in here? He does. It's Bussum. Bro! Buss and Brew back in Europe and back at it again with Bakari as well. He is honestly the ball at the Beninese. Danny Alves, Bakari gets the job done for us in Europe yet again. A stunning run forwards and a quality ball at the end of it. And Buss and Brew kept himself on side. Didn't really give the goalkeeper a chance there. Fifth goal of the year for him. And we are underway and we find ourselves 1 0 up in Europe. Come on, boys. Come on. You guys all think that the, the general consensus in the comments was that this is a tougher group than last year. Uh, we certainly don't have a Sheriff Tirasol who were hopeless last year, weren't they? Um, the only thing I would say is that if it's a more even group, is that if we can get results, that other teams might take more points off each other. Like the, I mean, we kind of almost had that go for our, us last year, didn't we? We just didn't quite have enough to get out of the group with RZ. But uh, what's the other? So the other game there is nil nil right now um it, i think it's a case almost again of what do we say this you've played well there's room for improvement i think i don't like that three of our back four are currently on a booking either that yeah that's not great um we could bring gosney on we could drop we could drop Williams back into a defensive, like in the center of our defense. That would clear up two of them. And then we just have to deal with Bakari on a booking. And there's not maybe too much we can do about that. Um, oh, I don't know what to do with that. that I mean, that's not great, is it? It's, it's not great, but it maybe just is what it is. Let's give it a get creative. See if we can look at this. We've, we've done really, really well. See if we maybe can get a second goal. Uh, it's one of these where it'll be, it, you know, it'll it'll be too late, won't it? It'll, oh, that's horrible! Far, VAR, whatever it's called. Someone come to our rescue! It looks like it is. There we go. So that's maybe why he was so open. Let's give it a demand more as the highlight begins. Bakari in there for James. Why do we have so many bookings? Are we on get stuck? On? I'll have to check that in a second. Vieira. Oh, you can see what he was doing. Boston Brew just on a different wavelength there. We're not on get stuck in. So why do we have so many bookings? Um. Can we get to a ball there? No, we can't. And we've sort of dove in. And oh, it's a stunning finish. And it's 1-1. We had already given the shout of demand more. And sometimes you've just got to hold your hands up and say that was a really good finish. That was the mistake there, wasn't it? It was Bakari diving in. That's a stunning finish though, isn't it? There's not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Um, and it, as I said, it's 1-1. Um, think, Aussie villain, think. Uh, da -da, they do look as though they are coming back at us this half, don't they? Can we win that? We can. Well done, Vieira, for Glennon, for wait. Can he pick a pass? He goes in there for Olmark. Oh! He had a little bit more time than I almost wondered if he was offside, to be honest. Um... Do we want to make changes? Who do we have on the bench? Backhill Benny played well, didn't he, last time out? Let's take Connor Parsons off maybe for him. 
Um, Parsons hasn't had a great start to the year this year, to be honest. Okay, so he was a deep line playmaker on support. And Vieira, let's send you box to box, mate. Let's see if that has any effect. Do we have... What are we exploiting here? We're not exploiting anything. Um, let's exploit the middle. That's where most of our players are. That's where most of our good players are as well. Let's give it a get creative here. Is there something? James Waite's not had a great game. Um, all right, let's. I'm gonna try try Serafino in there, just see what he can do. This may be not exactly the game to be experimenting, but yeah, come on, we really need to win this at home, don't we? Drop points here is not great. It's ahead of its way. It's Vieira. It's off the crossbar. Another highlight. There's a minute to go. At home, yeah, we really need to be winning this game to get out of the group. I think to have any chance at home to what yeah, it's sort of it. Most likely, the, the, if we're the weakest team, sort of the next weakest team in the group. Um, and are we going to go and lose it here? Oh, it's a good block. I mean, you sort of protect the point. If you can't win it, don't lose it. But we really needed to win this. Can we nick it and go up the other end? Oh, it's a pass in the space. Get in front. Get in front. We win that. We do. Bakari's done well there. We sort of saw the best and worst of Bakari in this game, didn't we? He, he laid that goal on a plate for us, cost, dove in and cost us a goal. We've gone down, well, we haven't gone down, but we've lost out on a win there to an absolute stunner. We haven't been terrible, but again, at home, I really think we needed to win that. The other game finishes in a draw as well, so that... <sighs> Let me know what you guys think. We really needed to win it to, to have any chance of getting out of the group. But given that it is a tougher group, it's not the worst start, is it? It's a little bit of money in the bank. If we look at finances, we're still in a really good position financially. Um, what is really going to hurt us this season is this ridiculous schedule. I think what I'm going to have to do is we're gonna, I'm going to make prioritize the league, first of all, because we have to make sure we're winning the league to get back in the Champions League year after year for nothing else than just to deny TNS that money. Then I think we're going to put Europe second now. Um, yeah, I think we'll have to put Europe second. And then anything else, the Cups, the domestic Cups, the Iron Brew Cup, is just going to have to be a distant third. Uh, we'll sort of play the best team we can. But I think, let me know what you guys think of that strategy. But I just think we have to make sure we're winning the league. We'll put out strong teams in Europe because there is money involved in that for us as well. But it'll sort of be second fiddle. If it comes to bound down between a league play being available for a league game or Europe, I think we have to focus on the league. Um, and then, yeah, whatever's left can play in the, in the in the cup games. But, guys, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we will be back on Monday. Enjoy your week. I think what we'll do, we'll do a Euro doubleheader. We'll do Maccabi Haifa and Kempasa, um, both away from home. If we can get maybe another two points from that, it's, you know, game back on. Um, but otherwise, we might be seeing our European campaign go up in smoke there and then. But that's all for Monday, guys. Until then, I'm Thank you so much for watching. Take care.